Today, I'm in Tahoe National Forest. Um, we're at the Spalding Lake Trail. Uh, we're gonna head down to the Spalding Lake towards Fortis Creek using this trail, hopefully. We're supposed to have a bunch of new snow up here. Uh, I was gonna bring my snowshoes, but I decided against it. I just brought micro spikes, so let's see what happens on this adventure, guys. Let's go. Just been on this old forest road. Um, snow's been in and out. Definitely not enough for snowshoes. We'd be just damaging them, I think. But, so at this point I feel pretty confident. Um, yeah. Get down to the lake. Hopefully find a good spot with a dry spot. Just, you know, something like this even, you know what I mean? Just to put at the campsite. Oh, a little, a little more snow, guys. First little uh, creek crossing. Looks like I could probably just rock hop it. And I would be right. All right, back on snow. Some yellow wildflowers on the rocks up there. If I could see them, I'd try to identify them, but I can't see them too well. But it's still a nice little area. Walking through lots of manzanita. And it's a nice snowless trail right now. Sounds like I'm coming up to a nice creek. So we'll check that out when I get there. In the trail, PG&E is saying go right. Um, so I guess I'll listen to PG&E. It does sound like there's a raging creek over there, so might not be. They might not have a bridge set up or something that way. So we're going to go around. Looks like we got to lose a little elevation, which is always nice. But it's okay if we get to not get our feet wet, right? I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if this creek would have been even fordable up there because it looks like it's a waterfall. Absolutely beautiful though. All right, just spent the last uh, 15 minutes trying to get a mosquito out of my eye. That was legit died in my eye. And uh, I think I got the gist of it or the majority of it. But uh, my eyes, my eyes still is pretty irritated, but just fun stuff of being out here, you know what I mean? I was worried about the stream not being crossable because um, I wouldn't be able to cross that probably. Hey, maybe, but I'm solo. It looks like you crawl under here. Oh, you got a bridge there. And this way, I don't know. All right, trail's opening up a bit. Getting some mountain views. Spalding Lake. At least the first view.
All right, took a short little break to check the lake out. And then we're gonna get back on trail, try to get closer to the end of the lake, find some better camp spots and maybe the creek. I don't know, let's go check it out. Down trees across the trail. I think that's uh, Mount Brady out that way. One of those two peaks, at least. Multiple little creeks like this. So good to know there's an extra water source besides the lake. Lost the trail for a bit, uh, but I'm back on it. Just a lot of water on it and a lot of down trees. So I feel like the Forest Service just clears up to the lake and not the rest of the trail. Oh man, I'm getting eaten up by me. Getting eaten up by mosquitoes too right now. That's not good. Not good. Lots of mosquitoes in this area. Here's a look at Fortis Creek. Looking more like a river. So the trail past Spalding Lake is kind of just like a overgrown mess with fallen trees and creeks. And definitely no easy trail. Um, and I don't think there's gonna be a good campsite over here, so I'm probably gonna head back. Oh, spent the past 15, 20 minutes looking for my GoPro. Uh, found it. I dropped it back there, bushwhacking or something. But uh, yeah, found it by a bunch of fallen trees. I'm just happy I found it. So uh, we backtracked about a quarter mile now. Um, once I retrieve my backpack, we're probably going to go back to the last creek and see if we can follow that down to the lake. Um, yeah, whew, that was quite a venture because I don't, there's nice camping up here on this little ridge. Um, I'll show you around here and you get a nice view of like the snowy mountains. But uh, there's no water source. Like, Fortis Creek is 200 feet down that way, uh, down a cliff. So, Woo. see what we can do. 
trying out a new chess cam. See how that works. So I have my fucking hands free, check it out. Uh, is the water source they want to come back down to you Alright, see, this is more what I'm talking about. Oh, and look at that. Check that out, guys. Like we found camp for the night. Right on the lake, we're gonna try to get up in the bushes a little bit or in the trees. I'm thinking there's probably gonna be some tent pads right here because. Yeah. Yeah. Right there, maybe? So, yep, decided this would be camp. Set up the tent right here. Um, water source is down there. There's a little creek. Got multiple fire pits here. I don't know, it's crazy. There's two down there, two up here. If I do have a fire, I'll probably use this one just to watch the sunset and stuff. And then, obviously, um, this place is a good place for rod and weary which i didn't bring up about 10 car rods right? i thought i'd be fishing the creek um but yeah nice fishing area got my own little cascades down there pretty sweet Right, got camp all set up and so we could work on doing other stuff now like fishing cooking all that stuff but let me show you around camp so camp's all set up and we got my tent like i usually do launch on 3f ul gear oh in here we got enlightened equipment Quilt, I think it's a 20 degree, could be a 30 degree, not 100% sure. Um, pillow, sleeping pad by Outdoor to Idols. Got my backpack tucked up under there to give me a little uh, lean up and then some clothes. All my stuff will fit in here. And I gotta close this up because I'm already getting bugs inside. That's it. All right, today I'm gonna to be fishing with the Dragon Tail Shadowfire 365. And the fly I'll be using is this Purple Haze one. There you go. Interesting array of fish here at uh, Lake Spalding. From what I've researched, uh, there's brown trout, rainbow trout, some landlocked Chinook salmon um, and a couple other species so this could be interesting probably not though because I got the tin car rod but um see when we get done Pretty sure I brought the wrong rod, guys. 
Um, I thought I'd be fishing the creek. Um, the creek's not that easily accessible. I'm gonna walk that way, so hopefully I can catch one or something down there, maybe. But for lake fishing, this is not the play. Not the play. But if I get extremely lucky, like extremely lucky, like something's cruising the shores, maybe. Work myself back to Fortis Creek. Huh. Probably not much to work with here either. But I'll fish the outlet here. Hope I'll get lucky. I think I'm gonna call it there. Um, not getting any bites, haven't seen any fish. I know they're here. I'm just not getting deep enough casting out. Don't, don't have any worms or anything. But, still fun to fish, just enjoy nature. Beautiful views out here. down to grab some water. All right, now we gotta filter it. All right, just gotta filter some water. Pretty cold water. Um, yeah, filter. Watch some cascades. Nice. One of the only mushrooms I've seen.
Very cool. All right, we're gonna get dinner started. I got a bowl of noodles here, hot and spicy. It's just super simple, because I'm just doing a quick overnight. I uh, just add some hot water and we're good to go. Eat some meat sticks with that, some other snacks and stuff I got in here. Um, yeah, just a quick, simple dinner. Hoping to get like 700 calories, maybe a little bit more. Um, yeah, so let's get that going. Good. Perfect. And then I don't know who set up the sweet table, but whoever did that, thanks. This is a pretty dope spot, I gotta admit. Very simple in there. Spice, noodles, and some vegetables underneath already. Right. Cheddar cheese crackers. Boom. Some pretzels if I want those. Boom. Fruit snacks. Boom. What else I got in here? I gotta have some meat or something, huh? Oh, there's a little meat stick. I'm gonna probably grab two of those. Oh, a lot of stuff in here. Golden Graham bar for after. All right, so we got a boil. Turn this off. Anyways, water going in. We're at the table here that somebody set up and we got the bowl noodles spicy in there we got the fruit snacks we got the meat stick extra meat stick some crackers extra pretzels we got the golden graham bar for dessert we got the propel drink in here for the electrolytes and we got the beautiful view while we're doing it Got a little fire going. Just kind of chilling. Passing the night. Oh, there's some ducks on the lake right there. Sweet. All right, that's gonna be the end of the night. I'm gonna let this fire burn out, chill for a little bit, and then crawl to my tent. See you guys in the morning. Good morning. Beautiful morning here. Had Lake Spalding, Spalding Lake. Um, pretty cold last night. Expected for an early season trip, but uh, yeah, I woke up pretty cold. Busted out the hand warmers. 
Uh, plan for today is make some breakfast, eat some stuff, drink some hot cocoa, and just enjoy the beautiful view here. Um, and then probably head back to the car trailhead, maybe do some light exploring on the way. Check out that waterfall where that PG&E sign was that said not to go by it. You know, public land, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Always be safe. Anyways, um, yeah, that's the plan for today. Beautiful area. My GoPro keeps shutting down this morning. I don't know if it's too cold or what's going on, but uh, basically, yeah, where I cut off is haven't seen much wildlife, no fish signs, not even jumping in the lake or anything. All my gear's out drying right now in the sun. Tent's tucked back there. As always, got the hot chocolate. I got a Sunbelt Bakery Honey Oats and Honey Bar. Apple, that's just to start the morning. Enjoying this beautiful view. Spalding Lake. Or Lake Spalding. Time to work on getting camp all picked up. My sleeping mat over there. A couple things just thrown out everywhere, drying off. But yeah, time to start getting it together. Uh, and then, yeah, we're gonna hang out, maybe eat a snack and stuff before we leave. This place is awfully nice. Alright, got camped all picked up for the day, um, grabbed a little bit of trash, you know, leave it better than you found it, and I'm ready to get back to the trailhead, it's about 11, 11.30, uh, I still haven't seen any fish, so no point in staying and fishing, I know they're here, but I don't feel like looking for them, no, let's get going. And from my campsite, you just kind of follow this creek back to the trail. Hopefully. wildflowers I saw earlier in the trip this is the first one I've seen I think it's a yellow mountain violet pretty sure decent amount of these dead trees on or down trees on trail uh, literally just right on the trail so I as well use it as a bridge right trail like spawning
And so this is where PG and E saying not to go. Probably because there's a bridge out, but I'm just gonna go check it out. Pretty overgrown. Meadow over there. 